Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. And in this one, I'm going to be on the PBE server once again, playing some Juicy Kale. Now, the reason I'm playing Kale is because she actually got like a mini rework, some pretty significant changes to be completely honest with you. So I'll go over the kind of the biggest changes right here, right now that I remember off the top of my head. And then we'll go over the actual list of the changes later on uh, as we play out this video more. So what are the big, 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 big changes, right? Um, the first one is going to be the fact that now she actually upgrades to her like first form, if you will, uh, at level 7, as opposed to before, where it's level 6. But, with that being said, she now gets the ranged form at that level 7 upgrade, as opposed to waiting until all the way uh, into level, what, what is it, 11 I think at the moment, right? So that is uh, obviously a really good change, but having said that, her final form, oh, the right there, what's up, baby? But having said that, her final form, which is of course going to be uh, now at level 15, uh, on the on the live server, it's at level 16. Right now on the PBE, on the new Kale, it's at level 15. And you don't get true damage. So, the TLDR is the fact that now you're weaker late game, but you are a better and actual, like, a, ch a real champion early on in the game, which is uh, really, really good, I think. Ooh, this, this champion is being serious. So that's, like, the TLDR of the changes. There's also a bunch of uh, changes to the numbers. Like, she scales better now with uh, ratios, like AP and AD and things like that, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Um... Stop resisting. Charge the Q. Do it. All right. Well, if you're not going to, I'll just do that instead. But yeah, that's like the major, major, major change, right? It's going to completely change the way she's played in general. It's going to completely change her matchups because now you get ranged at level 7. So you no longer have to just be this kind of minion almost. That you're just like starving for, you know, experience, farm, etc. And you're just pretty much waiting until level 11 to even really do anything useful. Ooh. Ouch, dude. Ouchies. Woo, yo, this, this guy hurts. This guy hurts a lot, actually. Just gonna, of course, stack up. I don't like him. I wanna probably max my Q first. The Q is actually pretty good now. So the goal here is going to be just to farm our Klepto off of... Ooh, nice. At least in with the kill. This guy is just walking around. This guy's like role-playing Pantheon. He's just walking around spamming the emote. It's funny. Do I die? Oh, of course we live. Yo, easy. Easy. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Perfect. I hope these minions don't casually just randomly turn around and one-shot me. That'll be really, really unfortunate. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and push out. I'll make sure I get this cannon over here. Beautiful. And then we'll get this spinning right here, and then we'll reset. So we have TP, which is nice. So now, while we're... Oh, man, I want to push in that way, but I can't. I want to actually go all the way to tower. They have a Shaco. I don't know where he is. You never know how thirsty they can be. So anyways, as I was saying, Kale, actual champion level 7. You become ranged. You have better laning phase. You have better matchup. You, you, you have better skirmishing power. You're, you're, you're an actual champion a lot earlier, which is great, but... Your dueling power and your carry potential late game because you lost the true damage on the final form, of course, naturally is a little bit weaker. So, something to keep in mind. Now, I have a full list of the changes if you guys want to maybe pause it. Uh, pause the video right here if you want to check it out for yourself. But you can see the armor has been increased. Her attack speed just passively has been actually increased a little bit, which is nice. Because you can see over here, when you get the range form at level 7, her attack speed per stack with her passive, of course, is lowered by 4% per stack. So, that's actually a decent amount. Um, following that, this little bit change in level 1, which is going to be like right now, of course. Uh, true damage on her uh, final form is removed. You can see a bunch of changes to her Q, which if you, if you want to pause, you can check it out. But TLDR it refunds mana on champion hits. Um, it also... Oh, this guy is actually super thirsty. Oh, I want this. oh, I'm flashing out. Those minions will kill me if I don't flash out. Yeah, we have to flash out. I'm pretty sure I would have died of those if I didn't flash her. Yeah, I think the minions would have 100% killed me. Anyway, so her Q refunds... Hmm. Her Q refunds mana when you hit a champion with it, which is good for harassing, actually. Um, I think it's, it scales a bit better off of AD and AP now, because it has both scaling, of course. So items like Gunblade might be really, really nice. On top of that, it actually has a lower range, I believe now. And we'll look at the rest of the changes. So I'll just kind of give you guys the information I only remember off the top of my head right after I back. Ooh. 
kind of spooked a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I think Shaka might look for a gank here to help the Pantheon out. See, I went for that as he... Oh, and I get a kill. Beautiful. Yo, a good gank, actually. Yo, that's pretty solid. Okay, I like it. I like it. So yeah, that's kind of the, uh, the TLDR changes. Her W now actually heals a little bit more. Her ultimate uh, has better scaling, has lower cooldown, lower mana, and also a bigger AoE, which is huge, I think, for her. Her ultimate does disgusting damage. Uh, what else do we have? Her E ability to execute damage has been actually lowered with the base damage, but it scales a little bit better. So as you get more and more AP, it actually will scale better at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the game, rather, like late game. Which is a pretty good change as well. And yeah, you can see her Q over here is a bunch of changes. Lower range, lower missile speed. The cast has been changed. The cast delay has been lowered. Uh, the bonus AD ratio has been increased. The shred has actually been lowered slightly. The shred duration, however, has been increased. So that's kind of the TLDR of all the changes right there, boys and girls. Some pretty good ones too. I actually think this is really good for Kale. And the reason for that, I actually think, is quite simple. At the moment, Kale, like I said before, she's a champion that essentially is like begging for CS, she's begging for farm, she's begging to just get to level 11 as fast as possible, right? Because you don't really do a whole lot, you're a melee champion. But now, now I'm level 7, I've ranged uh, already, which is beautiful. Which means that... Oh yeah, Malphite, by the way, has a bug, uh, where he, his ult on PvE server is uh, global. Yeah. Don't ask me. I don't. It's, it's PBE. PBE always has the most uh, interesting things happening. Here. See, look at that. See, now, now that I'm a rage champion, look how much easier this is. Make sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do that? Stop right there. You have brought malice and dishonor to this battlefield. For that, I shall bring you justice. Justice with six-pack abs and toned biceps. I shall strike you down where you stand. Yo, this guy's actually... This guy's straight up role-playing Pantheon. I respect it, though. I respect it. You know what? I mean, maybe don't spam it, but... <laughs> Guys, is actually role-playing Pantheon. What? Interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna sell this potion probably. Here I am, like, trying, try harding on Kale while we have Mr. Pantheon in the flesh himself over here. Playing Pantheon, of course. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna upgrade that, sell that. Because we don't need it. And TP back in. Yeah, so like I said, uh, Gunblade is going to be a really good item on her now because her Q just scales better off of AD and AP, so it's just a lot more powerful overall. You can max it first as well because it's just really, really strong. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I almost uh, I feel bad for our role-playing Pantheon. I'll be honest. He's playing AP Pantheon. Okay. All right. PBE server never disappoints. It really doesn't. So once you get level 11, which is the second form, you become, uh, y your attacks become AOE once you like fully stack your passive, of course, right? Which is obviously really good. And then once you get level six or 15 rather now, it's level 15 now, you no, no longer get true damage, but you now have uh, obviously the usual permanence exalted, right? So TLDR, you're weaker late game. I'm not gonna carry as hard, not gonna be as 1v9, but at least you can now actually get to the points in that game a little more consistently. And on top of that, you can actually play League of Legends pre-level 11, which is think, fantastic. I knew that was the right one. I knew it. Look at this waste. Look at that this damage on that Q. Woo! Man, that, that buff is spicy. Oh, 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 that was close. Yeah, that buff is a nice buff to the Q. Like her, she actually does a lot more burst damage now, which is super, super cool. So essentially, they actually make Kale like an actual playable champion. You know, at the moment it feels like you almost are trolling picking Kale. Okay. What? Oh, my watch. What the hell was that? Interesting. 
Um, because the, the one thing that's really bad about the current KL, in my opinion, is there, there's two things, right? It's almost like a double-edged sword in a way, or like a feast. Or, like a, it's like the definition of feast or famine, where the current KL on the live servers. If you're playing it, you're essentially useless, right? But on the flip side, if the enemy team happens to just royally mess up, like they just really messed up, and you get really fed early, you get a bunch of kills early, then you're pretty much unstoppable. The game is over. And on the flip side, if you're the one facing the kill, it's a pretty free matchup. But having said that, you're not allowed to make any mistakes because if you do, well, suddenly, you know, I don't even need wars in this game. Uh, wait, what? What are they talking about? He is like at two gay subs, that's huge. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, if you're facing Kale on the currents. Oh, Malpha. You just saw the Malpha Global R. It's coming. It's coming. Yep, there it is. <laughs> if you're facing a Kale on live servers, you can't make any mistakes against her because if you do, it just feels like the game is over as well because of that. You know what I mean? So. It's kind of like. It's, it's like the definition of Feast or Famine, and that's really, really bad gameplay, I think. But this is just a lot more consistent, where as the Kale player, you'll actually be able to do stuff more often. You'll be able to play League of Legends, but as the one facing Kale, you won't be as terrified facing her as well, where you really just can't mess up, if that makes any sense. So, anyway. I think overall it's a really good change. I think this is going to make Kale a much more well rounded champion, which is exactly what it should be, I think. Yeah, so this game is definitely an interesting one. Um, go ahead and so one more, oh no, never mind. level 11 is where we get it. So now we have the AoE, of course, uh, once you have the passive maxed out, which at the moment we, of course, uh, do. To the nice, I don't lose it. What are they doing down there? I don't have any TPs, so I can't really go down there at the moment. I mean, I can walk, but it's just so far away, man. I'm, I'm almost, like, too lazy to walk there. Okay. What's up, man? I like those recoils. Look at that damage on the Q. It's actually ridiculous. So much damage on that Q. I'm sorry. Apologies. I'm sorry. Okay. There is a Malphite. I hope he doesn't have a global R ready to go, because if he does, he can ult me from literally anywhere on the map. Gotta be careful, boys. PayPal or credit card? How do you pay me this time? Oops. Ha! <laughs> nice. That's funny, actually. I'll give him that. I'll give him that one. That's funny. This guy's exposing me over here. Come here, come here. Run away, boys. Run away. I am this world's record. It's so hard to hold that. Oh, baby. Ooh. Woo! Damn! Washed up master player. Dude, they're salty. I love it. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh man, PBE server never disappoints, it really doesn't. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wait, we have a lot of gold. What the hell? I didn't realize I had so much gold. Let me go ahead and reset. Alright. Get that, then we'll go for you know what? Just make this a little bit more fun. Let's go for Lich Bane. We're gonna go for the Lich Bane, and then we're gonna go for the probably the Rage Blade. I think the Lich Bane, considering she's she has a lot more burst in her kit now, like she still has the auto attack, you know, just melt them with the auto attack kind of play style and everything. Obviously, it's a little bit less of that because you lost the true damage at the end of the game, but you have a lot more burst, especially early on into the game. So I actually think maybe Luden's Echo could be really good. That was close, summoners. That was close. Okay, there's a pantheon. What's up, man? Hey, welcome to welcome, welcome to the battlefield, my friend. I want to go all the way around. Jackal is somewhere here.
Come here. Come here, boy. Okay, never mind. I guess Cannon will take that kill. Yeah, this game is looking kind of over. 14 and 0. I, I, I'm actually surprised I'm already 14 and 0. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Pretty strong, pretty strong. Again, maxing Q first, I think, is amazing now. Because the Q, like I said, it does do more damage. Let's take a look at it one more time in case you forgot. Refunds mana. Bonus AD ratio has been increased. Bonus, or the AP ratio overall has been also increased. The shred has been lowered, but that's more of like, um, you know, making stuff. Yeah, I want to I wanna see that red buff is up, actually. That'd be nice. I also really, 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 really want to get Lich Bane before this game ends, if possible. I think the Lich Bane is going to be so very nice. Wait, actually not bad. What if you just wait right here? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, what's up? There will be no repentance. My judgment. Yeah, we're done yet. So much damage. And Yasso guy. Did he just call Mo the Yasso guy? <laughs> Wait, what do you say? I prefer Red Mercy over Nivelo and Professor Akali and Yasuo guy. Man, damn, Yasuo guy. He doesn't even have a name. Just He's just a Yasuo guy. F and chat for Mo, boys and girls. F and chat for Mo. Poor guy. Just, he's just a Yasuo guy. Doesn't even have a name. I'm okay, I guess. I'm gonna probably sell the Corrupting Potion. But fight all better. That's my, boy. That's my boy right there, though. Fight all. That's my boy. He's an OG like me. He's an OG. Okay, let's DP in. We have the Lich Bane now. Oh, baby. Okay, luckily with this uh, Gunblade, we're actually generating a lot of HP. Yo, that Kale ult right there, I don't know who I used it on. I used it on someone that was in the middle of all that. I don't know who it was, but... Damn, that was sick. Alright guys, there you guys have it. A pretty quick game for the most part, actually. A nice, solid, just under 20 minute game. Showing you guys the new Kale and just what it can do. I think the new rework is fantastic. I think the new changes are great. It gives Kale an actual, like, real opportunity to play some League of Legends. You know, before the game is already over. Uh, which I think is fantastic, so... Yeah, there you guys have it. Let me know what you think about it down below if you enjoyed the video. Of course, as usual, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the damage done. I'm actually kind of curious about it, to be completely honest with you guys. Where is it? Let's see. Let's see. Damage done. Yes. What? what? Did Ezreal beat me? I'm actually shocked. How did Ezreal beat me? I'm completely shocked. Wow. That's insane, actually. But either way, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, of course, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the Kale changes, the Kale rework. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So, yeah, I want to hear your opinion as well. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.